particularly love about Women's World Banking is because it has this particular focus on women, we believe it's unique and it also will have a multiplier effect because we all know that if you involve women in economic development, you will go a long way towards promoting financial inclusion. In an environment where financial institution leadership is not the most popular set of, uh, of leaders, I think for institutions that are committed to serving a low-income population, often the most vulnerable populations, and then within that group serving women, to bring a principled leadership to bear is absolutely essential. Leadership is key anywhere, but in microfinance in particular, the world is changing, the complexities are increasing. Lots of academic research says that is when leadership is absolutely essential to appreciate the future when it's not clear how we're gonna get there. The low income segment in their markets is probably, in, in many countries, uh, the only segment that's growing that has a tremendous need for financial services. The way to tap that really requires leaders who can see beyond the everyday way of doing business, but recognizing a new way of approaching these clients. To create a, a vehicle to provide the services, to provide the credit, to provide the insurance, somebody just has to do the heavy lifting. That's what we tend to call leadership. We know from a lot of the research that's been done in the corporate sector that gender diversity can lead to stronger, healthier institutions. We see so few women in management in all kinds of financial institutions, but so importantly, women are clients of microfinance institutions, even more so. So we aim to give a high profile to institutions that were best in class in their investment in diversity. So to me, this is a critical tool for Women's World Banking. The Excellence in Leadership Award is so important to both raising the profile of those women who today are, are leading in our industry, but also to many others, to driving younger and other managers to believe in that careers in this sector are possible. This kind of uh, award recognizes an institution in a way that will draw attention to what it does and allow microfinance groups elsewhere to take a look, probably learn from, and in that sense, it's uh, not only to honor, but it's also to amplify. It was so clear that Microfund for Women was embedding their leadership uh, development program in every other aspect of their work as well. We were delighted that Microfund for Women won this year's award. Uh, they are a remarkable institution in many ways. Microfund has distinguished itself in a challenging market in Jordan and in a challenging region in the Middle East for women, both as clients and as employees. We're very proud to, to have won it. We're very uh, humbled by it. I think it's a testament to uh, the hard work that has been put by the 400 members of our, of our team. People do believe that when they come into this institution, they have a, a chance to grow and to become leaders. It is by no means easy for Microfund to identify and retain its stellar female staff. But because that's such a core commitment of management and governance, those investments in championing or overcoming those challenges are taken for granted. More than 50% of university graduates are female. However, they comprise probably 12% of the workforce, which is uh, embarrassingly low. The, the major assumption usually is that it's a cultural issue. Uh, in addition to the fact that there isn't enough support for women who want to choose to work and to, to have a, a family. One of our strengths is that we've been true to our mission as a board where we have had the first female manager of a microfinance institution and since then it has continued. We are a, a woman-focused institution. The whole team, they feel it every day. The junior staff, they see the role models of other females who've been at the same level as uh, they are as well as we have less working hour comparing to uh, other private institutions. We uh, support and help uh, every ambitious woman. 
The whole team at MFW, they believe in its vision. They work so hard really to translate the mission of the institution. They feel it everywhere that they are not just here uh, to work and uh, to earn to earn an income. Each of them, they feel that they, they participate in developing and uh, their communities and they provide the tools to empower the underprivileged women. في لسه بمنطقتنا احنا هون كسحاب لسه محافظين على العادات والتقاليد شويه في شويه صعوبات فشافوا من قبل 10 سنين انا لما بلشت انا لليوم الي 10 سنين من لما بلشت من 10 سنين بحكوا يعني كيف ست بدها توقف محل وتفتح محل لقيت صعوبات كثيره ظليت مصره والحمد لله تجاوزتها مرحله مرحله وبعد هيك بالعكس صرت اوظف وادرب بنات من نفس المنطقه بعدين أنا سمعت عن صندوق المرأة بعد سنة بعد ما فتحت بسنة سمعت عن صندوق المرأة صندوق المرأة كثير ساعدني من ناحية دعم مادي ومعنوي والثقة بالنفس وماشين معنا تدريجيا درجة درجة يعني لو بشكر كل ساعة صندوق المرأة ما بكفي عن الشكر عن جد <تصفيق> We are leading the market and we have been for, for a while. This always puts an extra challenge on us to, to really be creative about what's coming next. We need to continuously understand our clients so that we can tailor whatever new products that we're giving to them. Microfund for Women, if for no other reason than being women-led and taking a client numbers to a much higher level than other microfinance institutions generally have in the region, let alone the commercial banks in the market where they operate in Jordan, they deserve to be, to, to be highlighted. And they really have led uh, a movement that I hope will also become contagious for the banking system on a whole.